early 2011, we decided that we wanted to start looking in the digital realm and find out whether that was something we could do sooner rather than later. Uh, we knew it was out there. We know it's coming. Uh, a lot of the mainstream theaters have been moving that way, but we didn't think that they had the quality of projection that once you blow it up to an 80 foot wide screen, it just wouldn't handle it. So we needed to get to the 4K image quality and the better quality projectors and things that are out there. Early 2012, at a, a digital conference in Galveston, we saw equipment that uh, made us as ourselves comfortable with the idea of the transition to digital. When we saw the demonstration and uh, and saw the Cube uh, servers in action, and especially the willingness for the Cube programmers to sit there and, and make sure that everything worked perfectly. We knew that we could trust that company to, uh, to produce a product that we could rely on in the museum. One of the biggest advantages was the difference in film print cost and film print shipping. One of the main reasons why we uh, selected the Cube uh, server system over some of the other competitors has to do with uh, their preparation and their readiness for high speed, high performance. So they can currently do 4K full streaming video on two projectors because they're using an ethernet delivery into integrated media blocks. And the nice thing was we can, um, you know, load a print virtually, you know, with the size of a, a small disc versus 400 pounds. So logistically that was a huge deal for us. The projectionists love it. From the, the primary uh, benefit is they don't have to mess with rewinding a film and getting it all set up so that they can uh, turn over the theater a whole lot faster and not be under such stress. From a programming point of view, which is what I deal with, it was easy to uh, bring in a multitude of films with varying lengths, some short films, some longer films, and doing alternative programming at night. Uh, because in the past, I could only do three 3D movies at a time. So, and even if we wanted to do a special showing of something, it had to only be whatever film was on offer that was currently loaded onto our platter system. So because with the digital, you know, our options are limitless. As far as an uh, installation, we did, when we did the, uh, the upgrade to the IMAX 3D, we took just over a week to uh, accomplish the whole process. It was uh, a lot of heavy lifting, uh, big equipment out, bigger equipment back in. The digital 3D installation, we took less than one day to remove all of the uh, old projector equipment and it took less than another day to get the new equipment installed and get an image on the screen. Overall, one of the main reasons we decided to go to digital was that we were going to, um, over the course of a year, save over $200,000 a year in a variety of costs and other factors. So it became a very easy decision. Cube as a company seems to be very responsive. They are uh, looking forward and uh, seeing how they can make their product better. And they seem to be proactive in their approach. As far as the future, um, the positive that I can see is that we're now able to provide a venue for other filmmakers, especially wildlife filmmakers, who in the past could not make, for whatever reason, logistically or financially, make large format movies. And now there's a whole array of filmmakers out there that would be um, happy to have their film in a theatrical exhibition within a museum or other institution. Personally, I like to see a good quality image every time I watch the show. That's part of why we wanted to go to digital so that we can produce that crisp, clear, first run quality every time out of the box for our patrons.